Colorado has a real problem with kids running away from foster care and residential facilities, running away and getting hurt, killed. The state leaders acknowledge they do not have an easy fix. Arnisha Roy looks at a new effort starting today to search for a solution. Today's first task force meeting was a space for kids to share. Many of the reasons youth said they ran is because they, they wanted to be connected with community. And we heard some experience of youth who had struggled with abuse in their foster care and kinship placement. It was a chance to hear the confusion. I hear from uh, people who work in the industry often that they are they are unsure of what they are allowed to do, what they're not allowed to do. And sometimes the most telling part of a problem is what we don't know. The system doesn't know exactly how many runaway youth there are. We don't know where they go. We don't know what happens when they're out on the streets and we don't know how to treat them when they get back. It was an emotional first meeting. The task force is named after Elizabeth Montoya's son, Timmy. He was 12 years old when he ran from a youth treatment center and was hit and killed by a car in 2020. Well, my hope and my prayer is that um, that whoever is in the legislature at that time will will pay attention to what we've discovered and make some policy changes. And I would say that the majority of the people working in these settings are there wanting to protect these kids, but they just can't at this time. Um, in the way that that would be optimal. The hope that the right people listen is particularly important. Over the next two years, the task force will put out recommendations. They hope it will reach lawmakers, providers, and state agencies. But the recommendations aren't yep. mandated, so they're relying on people listening and then taking action. Democratic Representative Daphna michelson Janay, who is up for re-election, gave an example. The Behavioral Health Administration, which is now live. And even those frustrated by recommendations being ignored in the past. They were contained in our reports. That's where they would begin and oftentimes end. I believe this time more people are listening, learning, and are already involved. And I think we're all encouraged knowing that, that some change is going to come out of this. And I believe that, that there will be change. Or next, I'm Anusha Roy. We asked state leaders why it took so long to set up this task force. They didn't really have a solid answer, just offering regret that it took so long, as well as hope that maybe this is the start of protecting more kids.